Guys, I can't believe what's here. The Up Baby Vista car seat is finally here. So I have all my packages. The stroller itself, the rumble seat to um, put, what do you call it? To make it a double. Watch out, Zell. Move, Zell. And then this is the Mesa car seat. Let me turn. So this is the Mesa car seat that matches. And then I have all the adapters I need. This is the upper adapter for whenever you add the rumble seat, you need this upper adapter to attach the toddler seat to at the top. The lower adapter is so that you can put the bassinet on the bottom um, if you're gonna be using the bassinet. Or I think you can also, like if you have twins, you can use it to attach a car seat on the bottom, but I won't need to use it for that. Oh no. And then I got the um, cup holder and you know, I, I read some reviews on it and it got some really bad reviews so I don't have high hopes for this, but the, the Mesa car seat does not need adapters to attach to the stroller. So I'm gonna take it out and see if I can put it together on my own because I'm just so excited. Um, I'm just so excited to like see it all put together. So I'm gonna try. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna try. Okay. This, I guess, is just like simple instructions on like how to put it together quick. So I'm gonna need those. This is probably the bassinet. I like that it has a case. Um, even the stocky, stocka one did not have a case for the bassinet. And so that was something that I was kind of always worried about. Was it getting dirty? And it's like, it's in our storage right now with no cover on it. So. I'm glad that the Appa Baby one has a case. Okay, so it does come with mosquito nets. It won't focus on the logo, but it does come with two mosquito nets. This one is for the bassinet, and this one is for the toddler seat. Um, so I would probably, I don't know if I would need to get another one for the rumble seat. Maybe it, the rumble seat comes with a mosquito net, but I really like that because I didn't know if I was gonna have to order them separately. And it looks like there's um, a, I think this is like the lap bar, if I'm not mistaken in here. I do wanna say that it's packaged really, really well. I really like how they have um, the parts and stuff just like packed in the sides and it's really easy to open. And it comes with a rain cover. So I think this is the rain cover for the um, toddler seat. And I was, it didn't like say that they were included on the Nordstrom website. That's where I ordered it because it was sold out on the um, Alpha Baby website in the Henry print. And then it was on back order at Bye Bye Baby. So I, I went on the Nordstrom website and they had all the parts that I needed in the Henry print ready to go. And so on the Nordstrom website, it didn't say that it came with the rain cover and the mosquito net so i did order a rain cover for the rumble seat so we're gonna see when i open the rumble seat if it comes with a rain cover for that and if it doesn't i'll just return the extra one that i have so also there are two wheels inside this one and skyla has opened one up for me okay so that bag actually had the toddler seat and the bassinet in it so now um it looks like we just have like the um, frame in here. Yes, so it was the frame in the very bottom and then a box that has wheels on it. Um, and that box has more wheels. Skyla is already in the toddler seat. <laughs> okay, so their packaging is absolutely amazing. I am giving them a total A plus for their packaging. I'm really impressed with it. Okay, I have the wheels on now, and they were, um, you have to push really hard to get them on, so don't be afraid to like push really hard to get the wheels popped on. It wasn't hard, I mean, it, it was easy, but I didn't know like how hard you would have to push. <laughs> hey, Munchkin. So now I'm gonna put on just the toddler seat by itself to show like the first um, way that this stroller can be used. So that was really simple. It just attached right here, and when it was first attached though, it was laid all the way back, and there is a handle right here, or it's like a little button that you can push, and that is how, watch out Skyla, that's how you lay it back, and it actually lays all the way flat. It like 
all the way back, which is crazy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize that it laid all the way back, but that's all the way back, and then this is all the way up. So that's what it looks like. And um, a lot of people don't know this, but this actually moves up higher so that when they get taller, um, this grows with them. So you don't have to worry about like them getting, well, eventually obviously they would get too tall or get too heavy, but this part moves up and down to adjust to their height. And if you were just gonna be using this with one baby, this is how the bassinet attaches. The way that you um, take it off is this is the button right here to release. You just pull that and then you just pull it up. It's really easy. It's actually a lot easier than the Staka one that we have because um, it has a bassinet as well. And then if you want to move, these are the two buttons, if you want to move the canopy up or down. And the bassinet is really soft and comfy. And it does have the like little cover here that you can take off and wash. So I really like that. And it looks like this unzips here and that that's washable as well. So here it is, the two options for one baby. I forgot to show that it does have this piece that zips on. So I guess you would use that if it was a little bit chilly. You could cover them up with that to get a little bit of extra warmth or just, I guess, maybe even a little like a barrier because you know when you take your newborn out and everyone wants to touch them, maybe this will give them, give you a little bit more coverage over the baby. So there it is for one baby with, now she's grabbing my camera, with the Mesa car seat. Looks pretty good. I'm, I really like it actually. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it because the last car seat that we had was the Stokey or Staka Pippa. It's like the Nuna Pippa for Staka attached to my Stoka Staka. I can't ever say that right. Explorey stroller. And so I really liked that car seat, but it does not attach to this, um, even with adapters. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the one made for Staka has adapters that'll work. So we got this one, um, and I think it looks really nice. And this is your car seat base. It has latch system. It's just, a, you know, it's a standard car seat base. This is what it looks like. That's what'll go in your car to attach the car seat to. And if you're a first time mom, having the car seat in the car and using that, like if your baby is asleep and you need to get out of the car and go somewhere, just being able to take the car seat out of the car and attach it to your stroller as a travel system is so amazing. I wish sometimes, yes, it is. I wish sometimes that we could still do that. <laughs> yeah, with Skyla. But you know, now she's so big, she's in a bigger car seat, we have to wake her up when we wanna get her out and put her in the stroller, but it's amazing having the travel Dad, system. Dad, uh, yes, where you don't have to wake them up, you just put them right in. Yeah. We barely yeah. even use the bassinet Bye. with the Staka, so yeah. I, I bet you we'll barely even use it with the stroller as well, just because we used the car seat so often, um, just with the stroller. I also have another tip. If you want to just buy a second base for your partner's car, you can buy a second base and that way, um, like that base that I just showed you, you can buy one on its own. And then that way you can transfer the car seat from whoever's car the baby is gonna be riding in that day. And then that person can just pop the stroller in their trunk. We made the mistake of getting two different car seats for each of our cars and it just didn't make any sense. We should have just got a second base to begin with and we didn't, so. And that's another tip for new moms. Y'all know I loved my stock of stroller, but honestly guys, this one just seems so much easier and more practical. Look at this button, you just like this to take them out. That's it. That is a lot simpler than the one that I had previously. So now I'm attaching the lower adapters. You just have to unsnap the basket so that you have enough room to get them on. That one is attached, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this side attached. You have to really wiggle it around until you get it lined up with that, and then you're gonna just latch this on. Okay. So what? So this snap right here was a little bit smashed, and I got it to go back together, but it is. Um, it was really hard to go in, the inside of it, it's kind of like, looks like it's been crushed a little bit. And then when I tried to pop it back together, the top of the button part, this black top, actually fell off and it's like kind of crunched up inside. So I'm gonna see if I can order a replacement, just top button, because that isn't gonna last. Um, I don't know if that's gonna hold at all. It's 
really flimsy, but it is a little bit hard to get these um, snapped back together. So that's the only downside I've seen so far um, with this stroller. Everything else has been top notch. These buttons are just maybe not the highest quality. The upper adapters are really, really simple. You just put them in like this. Very, very simple. So you have to have, if you wanna put the bassinet on the bottom and the toddler seat on the top, you have to have the lower adapters and the upper adapters and they are actually both sold separately so they do not come with this set. If you wanna use the bassinet and toddler seat together, this is the only configuration that you can use with this combo. You can't like turn the toddler seat forward. Um, I'm not sure if you can turn the bassinet facing out. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but I'm, but this is how you would use it if you're going to use your bassinet and your toddler seat at the same time. One thing I love about this stroller is how much storage it has underneath. That's like kind of rare for, um, these strollers to have a lot of storage and it's just like a huge upside. So if you're shopping for a stroller, make sure you've got a lot of storage underneath. So now I have the solar panels pulled out that I was telling you guys about before to have some extra sun protection. This is the toddler one. It goes way down, as you can see. And then here's the one for the bassinet. So I was able to face the bassinet out and it still gave me the green light, but they're really pushed up against each other. And I don't know if that's necessarily good for the stroller. I should probably, I need to look up and figure out. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Like. This probably isn't good for this bar. It might um, bend that bar that holds up the bassinet top um, if you wanted it to face out. I think that it's meant to face in. Let me know in the comments because that is something that I don't know, but it's giving me the green light as if it's okay in that position, um, but I can't say whether or not it actually is. Okay, so this is how the rumble seat came. The canopy is up there. This is the rumble seat. It came with the, um, these are the adapters for it. It did come with a mosquito net, but there's not a rain cover. So I'm glad that I bought the rumble seat rain cover separately. So here's what I'm talking about with the button. I had to undo it again in order to attach the rumble seat adapters and the top fell off. The bottom snap looks, let's see. It looks a little smashed too, honestly but the top is completely smashed and I don't think that I did that. I don't know how I would have, but that's the only flaw I've seen so far. Okay, so here it is with the rumble seat on it. The rumble seat goes up to, I need to look this up. I'll put it actually across the screen right here. I think the rumble seat goes up to about 35 pounds and I think the toddler seat goes up to 40, but like I said, just look across the bottom of the screen and I'll show you what the toddler seat goes up to and what the rumble seat goes up to. But I figured that whichever child is lighter at the time will go in the rumble seat. So once the new baby is out of the car seat, she'll most likely go into the rumble seat and Skyla, my older child, will go up into the toddler seat. It just makes more sense that way. So, this is what it looks like with them both facing forward and I did move this leg bar down so that there was um, more room in between these two seats. It does not look like that much room between them here and it honestly isn't. But that's just kind of what comes with doing a front to back tandem stroller. And you can turn this toddler seat facing you. You can turn them both facing you, both facing out. I don't think you can turn them both facing in. Um, maybe you can. I might try that right now just to see. But this is what it looks like. The rumble seat does also have the sun shade that comes out as well. You just pull it from the underneath. So there is what it looks like from the side. I'll probably most likely be using it like this for the most part. And as you can see, the second toddler can definitely see over the top. So their view is not blocked. And that was one thing that I was really worried about was is their view gonna be blocked in this car seat? And to me right now, it does not look like the second child, the, the, the child on the top will have an obstructed view. It looks like they'll be able to see everything. So it does snap into place with them facing each other. 
um, which it just does, it looks like this one would just be like, the feet would be in the face of that one. So I don't think I will, I mean, maybe, I guess never say never, we'll see when they're here. But I don't, I don't feel like this would be a position that I would probably use often. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like there's like enough space between the two for that. So here it is with them both facing you. Although I feel like with, you know, maybe when one of them is really small, they could be facing you. But they get to a certain point where they just want to see everything. So this probably wouldn't be a way that I would keep it a lot of the time. In that case, you could have one facing out and one facing in. <laughs> Skyla. <laughs> You want to get in here? I need to put the brake on this is the first way that I would have it configured when we first bring our new baby home I know Skyla um, The new baby will be in the car seat like this and Skyla my toddler will be in the rumble seat in front um, It does look like they're kind of scrunched up together, but if you want you can turn the rumble seat facing the other way I have put the cup holder on and like I said, the review said that your cup tips over easy because I can see how it's a little bit loose. It's not like completely tight and secure. So I see how that could be a concern. But there's also like a little cup holder type situation right here that you can put your water bottle in. So I wanted to show you that the handles, what are you doing Skyla? You trying to get in the dog toys? Careful honey. The handlebars, you pull, there's a button right here. You pull it up and it makes it taller. And you push it down and it makes it shorter. To collapse this, I think you're supposed to take the rumble seat off, but I'll show you what I did. I just leaned the rumble seat with this button, push that in, and I leaned the rumble seat all the way back. Now I did take this um, car seat off, obviously, but I leaned the rumble seat all the way back. And then there are two little, where are they? They're like triggers, so they're up here, these. And you just use your, um, on each side, you kind of do like this with your um, pointer finger and you pull it in on both sides at the same time. And once you do that, then you push down on the handlebars. And it folds up like that. So that is it folded up with the rumble seat still attached, but like if you take the rumble seat off, it's gonna fold completely flat. Okay, so there it is folded without it. And in order to secure it, you have this little guy right here on the inside that snaps over. So when you wanna open it again, you're gonna have to unlatch this just by um, pulling it like this before you open it. So that's it for my box unboxing and first impression of the Upper Baby Vista. I love it. I'm actually, I'm really excited about it. And if you guys follow my vlogs and follow me from here on out, you will see what I think about it once both girls are here and we're using it. So subscribe to my channel to follow along. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.